Hey guys, welcome to this week's individual weekly video for the week of June 18th. And I'm so excited because this week is actually a really cool collaboration with a chance for you to win your own tarot deck from Hip Chick Tarot. We have got Maria coming up after my forecast, not only telling you a little bit about her cards and her tarot deck, but also giving each individual sign a little mini reading of what that card applies to for them for the week. So make sure you stay tuned after your forecast to see what Maria has to say for you as well. And make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe my page and Maria's for a chance to grab this tarot deck, which is phenomenal. <laughs> All right, stay tuned for your forecast. Hi beautiful Libra, so this week, the week of June 18th, kicking off right at the beginning of the week on Monday the 18th, we've got Neptune taking its retrograde. Now when Neptune retrogrades, it's just like any other retrograde, we're going to re, we're going to re-look at, re-edit, revise, reconnect, reconsider, right? And this is going retrograde for the next five months, so until November, in the sign of Pisces, which places it in your sixth house. Now when Neptune, who is very, fantasy, creative, watery, it can sometimes be foggy energy, right? While that energy is like that, when it's direct, when it's retrograde, we get clarity, right? So you're getting five months of clarity in this sixth house space. So one of the things I'm telling you is that you are gonna get solid, you're gonna get some clarity on where you're not or you need to redefine, not necessarily your discipline, but your practice and your mental considerations around all things health, work, daily routine, okay? You know, here's the thing. I hate working out. Like, I hate working out. If I think of it of work as working out. This is a time where you can be creative. If you don't like lifting weights, go dance. If you have had some kind of health situation you've been placing to the back burner, you're like, oh, that's just nothing, it'll go away. This will be the time when you will have clarity and you will need to deal with it, right? It is also a wonderful energy with Neptune being a 12th house representative to look at how can you bring a more meditative quality to everything that you're doing. And remember, meditation is not just sitting and owning yourself until your hair is on fleek you know you can take meditation into movement that's what I've always been taught that meditation should be moving it should carry with you all throughout the day and it's just a time to connect you to connect with you you to connect with the divine you to connect with what the heck you even want in this area right so having this in this placement too, consider just asking yourself the question does this suit my highest vibration does this activity, does this food, does this doctor, does this work, is how I'm showing up at work suiting my highest vibration, right? And this is a wonderful time too. Oh my gosh, if you've been trying to make any changes at work or health or any of these areas, listen to some tutorials. Listen to other people who have knowledge. Pull in maybe even angelic information. Pull in something from between the worlds. That's where Neptune rules. Use it to your benefit over this next five months to really boost yourself someplace else. But I am telling you really truly, if you have any health concerns you have not been addressing, you maybe don't have to run and seek, you know, the next best x-ray or anything like that, but it is definitely time to look at um, some patterning, I think, Libra. Have you had the same pattern over the last two to five years, right? Are you still living a pattern? Are you still having the same kind of people in your world? Are you still asking the exact same questions you were asking a year ago? It's time to look at the patterning and to remember, you can stop patterning any time that you want to. All it takes is choice and new skill, choice or new knowledge right? And that usually involves bringing some kind of coach, teacher, something like that in there. So Libra, if you've been going in the same patterns for a very long time, remember it's okay to change, right? Now, as we get towards the end of the week, we have the sun moving over into Cancer, which actually the sun brings light, heat, life, vitality. You want to be seen. Wherever the sun is at, you want to be seen. And this is moving into your career house. So I do feel like now this is summer, okay? This is the first official day of summer in astrology. So you may be like, oh, I do not want to go to work. I would really like to be at the pool, okay? <laughs> and that is something I totally understand. I've been having the hardest time staying inside. But this could be a place where you're shining, right? Maybe 
this actually brings a little bit of a laid back attitude to you and the people around you libra are actually breathing that in they're like yeah yeah let's let's move this meeting to outside let's you know let's just chill out maybe it's not that big of a deal we can we can step back a little bit and and associate this or um assess this a little bit differently now the other thing i do see on the other side of it is that i think this is a wonderful time for you to actually try and make some um, financial moves or some changes to your reputation right and this could involve finances as well maybe you're ready to move into a different financial bracket something like that maybe talk to a boss or a person in a position of authority to talk about making that move the thing that's going to have your back though that i think about with cancer is that it's roots it's family it's nurturing so libra wherever you are wherever you're going especially around your work and or your soul level calling your purpose whatever you're doing in the world demonstrate loyalty demonstrate a desire to actually make roots and make a family make a collection where you're at and that gives you the strength in this career area going forward so i think it's actually a very good week for you okay now make sure you like comment share subscribe and like my friend maria's page as well so you can get a copy of this hip chick tarot deck which is super cool so coming up maria is actually going to pull a card to help you focus on something this week and tell you a little bit about the card itself so i love you very very much libra and i will see you next week okay so this is the justice Bye. card and you can see the woman sitting below the scales of justice on one side is a flower that's fading a rose that's fading and the other side, there's the rose just coming into bloom. And the woman is sitting there um, in the middle thinking. And she's thinking about her past and how that influences her future. Because coming to terms with your past is a really big deal on the spiritual path. I mean, it really frees you up. So this card wants you to be able to... to take a look at that rose that's fading and then you can turn around and put more energy or the right kind of attitude towards the rose that's just blooming so there might have been um, some things in your past that you want to examine for instance you might have hurt yourself at some point and really want to forgive yourself for that you can handle that in many ways. I often do like a ritual around that. You know, I might write down some thoughts and set them aflame and, and think about letting that go. Um, so, you know, and you might have hurt other people and you might want to ask for forgiveness if that's appropriate. The idea here is to really wipe the slate clean so that you can move forward and with the lessons that you've learned from your past. So, um, yeah, so taking care of, of you in this way is not always easy. You know, it, it, you have to get real, you have to be able to examine yourself and that takes some humility and patience with yourself. The card practically comes up when, um, Maybe you're going through something like in a relationship that, you know, you might want to think of, have I gone through this before? Is this some kind of cycle that I do? Maybe I want to break that cycle and, and look at that so I can do it in a new way. It also might just be calling you to be fair with other people, to remember to play fair, keep it clean, um, and to take notice if, if maybe someone isn't playing fair with you, you know, so that you're aware of that and that you want things to be um, equal and honest in your relationships and your business dealings.